Hi everyone, uh, first Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, today our subject, uh, our model is about uh, solar collector. Uh, we have a flat plate collector, evacuated tube collector, and the compound uh, type and parabolic and solar tower. And we have here a linear uh, Fresnel uh, solar collector. First of all, you have to specify your destination folder. I go to your working folder from here from open matlab first and go to your destination folder from here your drive your working folder so this is my working folder okay so i uh, okay this is my working folder and you will find your folder uh, containing your uh, necessary file uh, just click here and sort by name and uh, group by type okay group by type in order to uh, organize everything you will find your model is located here double clicking okay uh, linear uh, for uh, uh, collector it's a, a fixed technique for uh, uh, thermal power generation and steam generation um, it's a, it's a fixed structure uh, sometimes uh, uh, such mirror can be uh, uh, utilized to move uh, in order to track the sun sometimes it should be fixed okay uh, first of all set your simulation time into zero saving and double clicking here we have here the following would like to uh, it can reach up to 280 degrees Celsius 300 degrees Celsius it can operate it as a, a steam generation for super heat region okay okay let's go for this one uh, we have to specify our solar radiation okay what is your ambient temperature for similar losses uh, what is your inlet field temperature uh, okay suppose we have uh, 50 degrees Celsius and we have here our target temperature suppose I need 200 degrees Celsius uh, uh, working flow. This this model is uh, for water working flow. Suppose we need uh, salinity should be uh, minimized. There is no saline water inside the solar field. Okay. And uh, working uh, flow rate. What is your working flow rate through the, the the solar field? Okay. Suppose we have uh, uh, five kilogram per seconds and uh, what is your mass flow rate uh, mass flow rate it's a hydro mass flow rate this is total mass flow rate and this is hydro mass flow rate which is responsible to divide your solar field into uh, unknown segments uh, for uh, this is responsible for design technique uh, um, what is your mirror width i think uh, 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 maybe one meter less than half meter Okay, so it's like about five meter. Uh, focal lens. What is the focal lens? Uh, it's uh, the distance between the mirror and uh, the absorber tube. This is cavity, absorber cavity. So um, suppose it's five meters. Uh, what is your collector lens? Maybe uh, collector lens maybe uh, fifty. Uh, uh, 50 meter in length, 20 meter in length, it's up to your design. What is your absorber energy your diameter? Uh, some hydrolysis constants. Uh, optical efficiency, normally this value, uh, normally this value should be fixed at 0 0.7, 0 0.67, as I say. Uh, so I have to, let's go here and uh, control M okay and going to mask parameters so, so i i need to change this one optical efficiency it is uh from point uh 0.6 okay or 0.5 up to uh 0.7 no more no more than this i think on from six to seven okay Okay, so we have here uh, optical efficiency. 
Okay, it's 0.67 normally. Uh, incident angle modifier, you can change the degree. Uh, clean lines uh, efficiency uh, should be 1.9, 8.99, nine, something like this. Okay, and incidence in angle modifier uh, is based on your design aspects. Okay, let's hit OK and go inside. Okay, uh, saving. And now we can hit run and see our results. Let's hit run and see. Okay, for single point uh, run, we can discover our uh, cost analysis. What is your total capital costs? Hourly cost, this is your hourly cost. We need to send these values to data inspectors, so just highlight these uh, streams and uh, stream selected to data inspector. Okay, let's go here. Okay, for 200 degrees Celsius, we have 15 bars as a pressure outlet. This is your pressure losses. Outlet in Salpi. Okay, this is outlet in Salpi. Uh, actually, this is a, a saturated liquid in Salpi because it's a hot water outlet. Uh, thermal uh, power. This is your thermal power, thermal losses. So the solar field. Uh, absorber, um, this is not absorber losses, this is absorber thermal power, absorber uh, or absorber gain, okay, and uh, well, this is your total field area, total field area in order to, in, to rise up the temperature from 50 degrees Celsius up to uh, uh, 200 degrees Celsius uh, with 5 kilograms per second as a, a uh, uh, flow rate uh, so the, the field a solar total uh, uh, this is segment area I'm sorry this is uh, segment area okay this is segment area you can change uh, in meter, square meters okay and we have we need 10 segments we need to just 10 segments in order to uh, do this uh, operation uh, segment width, uh, I think this is uh, too long, so I have to change my uh, um, my design aspects. Number of mirrors should be used, distance between mirrors, and this is your thermal efficiency, uh, irreversibility or exergy structure rate, and the collector exergy efficiency and total exergy. We can send this result to the data inspector. Let's go here. Uh, just to highlight your uh, streams you would like to send to data inspector just to highlight hold shift and click over this uh, streams okay i'm sorry i have to, to do it again let's highlight and send data to uh, data inspector uh, okay send to uh, data inspector okay so let's go here and trying to change some uh, some parameters set your simulation time into infinity for dynamic mode and uh, let's go here preparing our uh, input panel i think uh, collector length should be increased up to 60 uh, 60 meter in length. Okay, so I will run the model and trying to change the uh, parameter in dynamic mode and see the effect uh, instantly. Let's go emphasize a little bit. Okay, and uh, let's hit run and see our results. Okay, model is running. So suppose I need to change to increase the solar radiation, increase the solar radiation. Uh, will have some effect on your solar field area, will reduce your solar field area as a designer. Um, flow temperature, let's increase inlet flow temperature. Increasing it will also reduce the solar radiation because you are going to reduce the gap between inlet and output. Uh, uh, increasing outlet temperature will increase the area and design aspects. So let's go up to uh, 270 degrees Celsius, for example. Um, or 280 okay uh, let's go for flow rate increasing flow rate okay I'm increasing 
surely will increase them uh, the area optical efficiency let's try to decrease the optical efficiency a little bit it has effect also on your area design area uh, incidence angle modifier let's change it has a massive effect also because it has any direct effect on your efficiency okay uh, let's go for decreasing decreasing it will increase the efficiency of your solar field okay let's decrease it a little bit okay hit this okay and stop and let's go for uh, data inspector clicking here also you can discover your results uh, outlet from here you can you'll find your results uh, also for example this is your area segment drag and drop this is your segment area exchange efficiency number of modules number of mirrors i think let's go and in, in, uh, okay emphasizing a little bit and see some results total capital hourly costs this is your hourly cost varying okay uh, us dollar per hour total uh, feed flow rate um, uh, evaporate let's go for uh, outlet collector and salby uh, useful energy okay and uh, losses uh, okay and this is absorber gain energy as you realize uh, that's let's put useful energy with this because useful energy is the difference between uh, the gain from to the absorber and the losses to the ambient uh, solar field area okay and this is segment area there's a huge difference between segment area let's go for segment area alone okay varying we can add more slots if we would like adding more slots here so we need to discover number of segments uh, how many segments we can of parts we can uh, handle oh, segments width okay number of mirrors okay that's enough for now okay so you can uh, uh, discover your results uh, outlet uh, from your data network based on uh, your the changing in your input parameters uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for your interesting uh, in our don't forget to like share uh, and subscribe thank you very much